Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hello, welcome. My name is Megan. I make videos and sometimes they're good. In today's video, I'm talking all about one of my absolute favorite brands and that is Anastasia Beverly Hills. So obviously from the title, you know that I'm going to be showing you my entire Anastasia Beverly Hills collection today. And let me tell you, I have a lot, so you might want a snack. So I have several different categories of Anastasia products and I'm going to go through all of them today. But before we can get into the specific products themselves, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's get into talking about all of my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills products. So in the intro, I talked about how there was going to be a few different categories that I was gonna talk about today. And that is eyeshadow, face palettes, lip products, and then other miscellaneous things. So I'm gonna start off with all of my Anastasia palettes. And as far as I know right now, I have every single Anastasia palette to date, except for the ones that came before Modern Renaissance and the Master Mario palette. Like there's some OG ABH palettes out there that I didn't even know about. Like I got into makeup after they were a thing and they, after they were long gone. So the first type of eyeshadow palette that we're gonna talk about first is the original format palette, which is this one right here. They also have another format, which is the Norvina line. It's a different brand within Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm gonna talk about all those palettes together and all of these palettes together, if that makes any sense. So I have them broken up into two different categories. So I'm gonna be talking about the influencer collaborations and then also just their palettes that they created themselves. All right, you guys, so we're gonna talk about the original style of palettes first. And I wanna start off with the Modern Renaissance palette. Now this is one of my most loved, most used palettes out of the entire collection. I love this palette with a passion. At one point I had two of them going so you know how much I love this one. I've done several tutorials with it and just so you know every single palette and every single product that I talk about will be linked in the description, description box below as long as it is still on the market. So I've got the Modern Renaissance right here obviously and look how well loved this palette is. I've hit pan in several shades here, five shades and what I like the most about this palette is how nice the undertones of all of these are. They work with several different skin tones. So I'm not too worried about this looking awful on me because I'm so pale and I feel like really, really deep skin girls will also really love this palette because of this section right over here. So that is my absolute favorite, the Modern Renaissance palette. Next up, we have the Sultry palette. Now this one is so gorgeous. I love the packaging of this. It's so reflective and glittery. This was just gorgeous, but I also love the shades that come inside, but you'll see, I haven't used this one very much. However, I think a lot of these lid shades in here are really, really beautiful, as well as the neutral shades. You can get a lot of really wearable looks out of this. I just don't reach for it enough because I have 120 palettes. Not 120, more like 105, but still over 100 and that's a lot. Next we have my second favorite and that is the Soft Glam palette. Now this palette is the one that I reach for for clients, pretty much anyone. And if anyone says I want a more natural look, kind of grab this palette usually. It's a great everyday palette. If you want something that you can wear every day to like a work setting, I would definitely recommend this one. So next up we have the original Norvina palette. Now this is not in that same line as the Norvina um, Pro Pigment palettes, but this is the original Norvina palette that they came out with. If you don't know who Norvina is, you should really figure it out because she's amazing. I'll link all of her socials below and She's probably the reason behind almost all of Anastasia's products. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's got those great lavender purples, you got pinkies, but you also have super neutral wearable shades. So you may get thrown off by those purples and that pink, but there's so many other great colors in here that you could use for an everyday look. Next, we have the Riviera palette. I actually bought this palette in France, so I'm like, it's kind of got a special place in my heart. Um, but this is what it looks like. Super bright, super beautiful. I love all the tones of pink and purple in here. I think it's actually so gorgeous and I love the reflective blue packaging on the inside. Next, we have two of the more controversial palettes, but I still really like them. 
And that is the Subculture Palette, which is this one right here. I think these shades are gorgeous. I need to use them more myself. People were always kind of upset about it because they weren't pressed as firmly. However, I like all of their shadows. I don't mind that they have kickback, so I think that's just your personal preference. I'm a big fan of this palette. The other on uh, the other controversial one, I think, I'm not totally sure, is the Prism palette. But look at that neon yellow. Isn't that so pretty? Love it. I've barely used this palette. I think I've... I, I think I've at most swatched this palette. I just kind of have it. I haven't used it enough. I should probably use it. All right, so next we're going to talk about the influencer-based palettes, starting off with the OG, and that is the Master Palette by Mario. Now, this might not be the OG OG, but this is the first influencer palette I got. So, Master Palette by Mar Mario is super classic, super pretty shades. You get 12 shades in this palette. Honestly, I'm pretty sure you can't even get this palette anymore. I love the different names in here. I think it's super clever. So there you go. So the next palette I have to show you is the Alyssa Edwards palette, which is this guy right here. Take a look. Super pretty. This is what it looks like on the inside. Look at how vibrant those colors are. I need to use this palette more. Honestly, a lot of these palettes I haven't used a lot. I have my certain favorites, um, but I want to get into using them a little bit more than I have been. Next, we have the Jackie Ina palette from earlier last year. I love this one. I think I like the packaging on this one the most, and I love Jackie Ina. So I love this palette a lot. The tones are just so great. This, this palette looks amazing on deep skin girls. Like, let me just tell you. Um, but I love the like more shimmery pressed shades in here. They're actually gorgeous. So next we have the Carly Bible that came shortly after this guy here. But I like how pastel-y this was. I wish it would have been released in the spring. I think it would have done a lot better if it would have been released in the spring. But it's gorgeous nonetheless. And my last, um, my last collab palette from ABH is the Amreezy palette. This one just came out. I did a video on it last week. So make sure you go check that out. It will be linked in the description. But look how pretty. I love that blue Leo shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really jumps out of you too. And I think it actually would go well with some of the other palettes as well. So things to keep in mind. So now that we're done with the original palettes, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the Norvina Collection palettes. So the Norvina Collection palettes came out as a separate brand within ABH, which I'm super excited for. I really like pro pigments. I like using them for my body painting type situations. I also just like using them in an everyday type basis or to do more creative looks. I think when you have a palette like this, you are kind of unleashed with your creativity and that is what I think she meant to do with these and I, that's why I think they're so important to have on the market. So I'm going to go in order of the three palettes when they came out and then along with their minis as well. So the first one that came out is this guy right here. This is the ABH Norvina Volume 1 and this one as you guessed it has warm tones and purples. Look how pretty these shadows are and I can't tell you how pigmented they are like you have to go to the store feel them for yourself and then buy them because obviously you're gonna love them you know but I love that they also come with a giant mirror like that oh there's my computer um I love that they come with a giant mirror I feel like these would be great for any artist who really needs to see everything that's happening all at once the next palette in the line is the volume 2 palette i love the packaging of all of these they're super sturdy i never feel like they're gonna break but look how gorgeous this bluish green palette is like look up close how pristine these shades are they just come off so so well they've got so much pop they each stand alone and it, they also give you options like there's one two three four five six blues right here and seven right here if you include this one and they all stand alone from each other none of them look like they're the same shade as the next and i think that's a really great thing to work with too because sometimes you can't find the exact right blue shade but if you have something like this you're going to be more likely to find it finally we have the third large size palette this is the norvina volume 3 palette right here the best of all the worlds and also you get some nice neutral shades so i could see people wearing like 
this shade, 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 all on a normal, regular basis. This is the most wearable and like user-friendly palette, I think, out of all three. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with all three of these palettes. And I'm impressed with their minis. The first mini I'm going to talk about is this guy right here. I think this is actually, yep, this is the first volume. And my sticker is still on it. I have not used this yet. I literally bought it like a few weeks ago when I was, it was in my giant end of working at Sephora haul. I'll link it down below. But this is what the palette looks like. Super, super pretty pinks and a purple. And then you've got that nice pop of blue too. Super gorgeous. Then we have the volume two, which is this guy here. Just like it's big sister. It's got those greens and some little wearable shades in there as well. And finally, the palette I did my video with on Monday. And also my favorite of the mini palettes. We have volume three. I like to call it the cherry bomb palette. It's so, so gorgeous. These red shades are perfect. I love red eyeshadow, so anything with that I gravitate towards and I'm like, ooh, gimme, right now. So now staying in the family of palettes, we are gonna move to face palettes. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. I have seven face palettes. So I'm gonna start off with the classic contour palettes these guys right here so this is the first palette that i ever bought that's why i hang on to it to this day i probably should get another one i can't really use this one anymore because it's definitely expired i bought this like four years ago um but this palette is so pretty it's a great great contour palette and it works great on so many different people and they have different tones of it as well along with their cream contour palette which they have a couple different tones of but this one is super gorgeous. I like this as well. Um, they're really, really great when it comes to pro style events. So if I'm doing a bride or if I'm doing like a formal or a prom or something like that, I can use these things. My first true love with ABH was their glow kits. Now these really, really caught my eye. I was such a fan of her after this. I thought they were so beautiful. They're such a good idea. We've got the first glow kit here. This is the Sweets Glow. We have the That Glow, which none of these match me, except for the yellow one maybe, but I'm too pale for these. And then we have probably my most used, and that is the Gleam Glow Kit. This guy right here, super, super pretty. And then we have our two fun glow kits. We have Aurora and Moonchild. For, so Aurora, looks just like this super pretty you've got that purple you've got blue you've got a couple peachy tones you'll find something you like in here and whereas moonchild is more about all of the icy shades so you've got blue you've got really really like blue ice hold on blue ice got to swatch it i haven't swatched a single thing in this video but look at blue ice that is so pretty um, I think the only brand that has gotten close to their quality of highlighters is Jeffree Star. And finally, in the palette realm, we're going to talk about their now discontinued lip palette. I love this palette. I love using it on um, my clients, things like that. I think it works very well for that. And she recently even put out a tweet that said something along the lines that they had to discontinue it because only the serious makeup artists really liked it and not the average buyer, even though this seems like it would be perfect for the average buyer because you can create your own mix of lipstick and you have lipstick to last you literally forever until you know, it gets gross. All right, so we have talked all about eyeshadow palettes and that leads me into my very, very big Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick collection. So I've clearly got a lot <laughs> and a lot of these are repeats, but that is just fine. And I'm not going to get too in-depth on these. If you want to see a swatch video of ABH liquid lipsticks, let me know in the comment section down below and I will definitely do that for you guys. As well as I'm going to leave any ABH related video from my channel in the comment section as well. Not in the comment section, in the description box. So you guys can go check them out if you're interested in seeing how all of these ABH products perform. So I'm first going to talk about the four mini glosses that I have. Now I got these in a set. Um, but I have the shades Pink Tourmaline. I have Diamond Lip Gloss, which is this one. It's gorgeous. That one's probably my favorite. I have Pearl. And I have Citrine, which is this guy right here. 
As for liquid lipsticks, let's get into it. So I'm just literally grabbing a handful and then I'll go by there. So the first one I have here is Heather's, which this is such an iconic shade on, obviously. Heather's is an amazing movie and musical and this just shade just I feel like matches that vibe so well. Next, we have the shade Brixton, which is actually newer for me to the collection, but I love this one. It's a really great terracotta brick shade. Um, next, we have a Super Nude, and this is Stripped. I actually can't really wear these, um, but they came in a big lipstick set from Holiday last year, and I just kept them because of that. Next, we have Taboo, which is another gorgeous dark brick shade. So pretty. Next we have, oh, this guy's old. This is pure Hollywood. This was the first product that I ever bought from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I keep it just because of that. But you can tell like it even has the old applicator, like the classic doe foot applicator here. Um, whereas now they have that paddle. But this brings back so many memories. I was so excited to get that lipstick shade and then it did not match me at all. So I couldn't really wear it, but I was so happy I had it because like Jacqueline Hill had talk about, talked about it or something like that. Gotta love it. Next is my all time favorite shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and that is Dusty Rose. This is the most wearable pink shade and I love it so, so much and I always will. And I have multiples of this one, so hopefully we find those later. <laughs> Next up, I have another Pure Hollywood. I did get it. I repurchased the new one just in case I wanted to use it. I obviously wanted to keep my original though. And then we have the shade Naked, which is along the same lines as Pure Hollywood. They look almost the same. Pure Hollywood, just a little bit darker. All right. We have the shade Hudson here which is a nice orangey peach shade. We have the shade Dazed, which is another beautiful one. I love this one a lot. Please don't judge my skin behind these lip glued lipsticks because it looks really bad today. Next, we have the shade Catherine, another very iconic Anastasia Beverly Hills shade. We have the shade Starfish, another newer one to me. We have the shade Trouble, gorgeous. Love this lipstick so much. We have the shade Seraphine right here. And on to the last four. Trouble. Already had that one. I've got a duplicate of Trouble. I've got a duplicate of Dusty Rose. Obviously, gotta have one. And I have the shade Crush right here. Another very pretty shade. And finally, my favorite. Favorite red of all time, American Doll from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I need to buy a new one. This one's actually completely dried out. I just keep it because it's the first red I ever bought, and I love it so much that I want to keep it in my collection forever, even if that means I have to keep a dry one because I cannot buy a new one right now. <laughs> and finally, we have a few miscellaneous products, um, starting off with their foundation right here foundation. Um, I love this luminous foundation. I actually used it in my video about the little cherry bomb palette um, from Monday. So make sure to go check that out. As always, every video is going to be in the description box as well, along with every product. So I am in the shade 100 N. I am very, very pale. <laughs> Next, another product that I have from them that I absolutely love is our eye primer. This stuff is so good and I use it in every video that I use an eye primer for unless I use the P. Louise one, which normally I use this one anyways. And finally, I have one pair of their lashes. They're upside down in here because I recently used them and that is the Eleganza lashes. Great quality. I'm very excited to try more of their lashes coming soon. And the last product I have, but I forgot to bring with me to film is the So Hollywood Single Highlighter. A classic, does not match me at all, but I love it as an eyeshadow. <laughs> So that is all of my Anastasia palettes and lip products and face palettes and everything I literally own from Anastasia in one video. I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. If you want to see me do this for other brands, 
such as Jeffree Star because I've got a lot of that stuff too. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below. I really enjoyed going through all of this, looking at all the palettes, forgetting what I had even. I'm a big fan of ABH. I think they're a great company. They're a great brand and they're continuously coming out with even better products. They always outdo themselves. And if you are looking to try high-end makeup, if you're looking to get into it, I think Anastasia Beverly Hills is a great brand for you to start at. They could, they've got pretty much everything except for like mascara and concealer, which hopefully they come out with soon. Norvina, I'm waiting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I loved filming it so, so much. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. I know I probably already said that, but I'm blacking out right now. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Everything I talked about in this video and everything that I have ever made a video on is down in the description box below. I mean, as for, you know, ABH products. That's all in the description box below, so make sure you go check out those videos, and I will see you guys in Friday's video. Bye, guys.